In February this year, a Chinese space company called Space Transportation announced plans for a space-based hypersonic aircraft that could reach New York from Beijing in an hour. It had claimed that the rocket with wings is expected to fly at an astounding 7,000 miles per hour, with testing set to begin next year. Hypersonic flight technology could usher in a revolution in human transport, but its applications have so far remained mainly in the hands of military users worldwide. Eurasian Times reported that China hopes to springboard itself into the future with an air-breathing magnetic fluid engine. That might make it commercially possible to go anywhere on Earth in under an hour. It has, therefore, been making coordinated efforts to produce an operational hypersonic aircraft for civilian use, despite being consistently criticized by its Western peers. In December 2021, China announced that it was working on a hypersonic airplane that could carry 10 passengers anywhere in the world in under an hour. At the time, it was revealed that the 148-foot 45-meter long aircraft, about one-third the size of a Boeing 737, had delta wings identical to those of Concorde, the first supersonic airliner in history, but with the tips pointing upward. Concorde, the first supersonic passenger carrying commercial airplane, built jointly by aircraft manufacturers in Great Britain and France. The Concorde made its first transatlantic crossing on September 26, 1973, and it inaugurated the world's first scheduled supersonic passenger service on January 21, 1976, British Airways initially flying the aircraft. From London to Bahrain and Air France flying it from Paris to Rio de Janeiro. Both airlines added regular service to Washington, D.C., in May 1976 and to New York City in November 1977. Other routes were added temporarily or seasonally, and the Concorde was flown on chartered flights to destinations all over the world. However, the aircraft's noise and operating expense limited its service. Financial losses led both airlines to cut routes, eventually leaving New York City as their only regular destination. Concorde operations were finally ceased by Air France in May 2003 and by British Airways in October 2003. Only 14 of the aircraft actually went into service. The Concorde was the first major cooperative venture of European countries to design and build an aircraft. On November 29, 1962, Britain and France signed a treaty to share costs and risks in producing and supersonic transport. British Aerospace and the French firm Aerospatiale were responsible for the airframe, while Britain's Rolls-Royce and France's SNECMA developed the jet engines. The result was a technological masterpiece, the Delta Wing Concorde, which made its first flight on March 2, 1969. The Concorde had a maximum cruising speed of 2,179 km 1,354 miles per hour or Mach 2.0 for more than twice the speed of sound, allowing the aircraft to reduce the flight time between London and New York to about three hours. It proved that European governments and manufacturers could cooperate in complex ventures, and it helped to ensure that Europe would remain at the technical forefront of aerospace development. Reaction Engines Rolls-Royce The Royal Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office The UK Government's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory And the UK's National Security Strategic Investment Fund or NSSIF have announced new details of the joint programme to deliver significant enhancements to UK defence capabilities Through the development of innovative hypersonic technologies Building on the pioneering high-speed propulsion technologies and extensive research and development capabilities of the partners. The Hypersonic Air Vehicle Experimental Program aims to establish the UK as a leader in reusable hypersonic air systems. Supported by funding from NSSIF. An agile project team has been established to rapidly develop critical HIMAC hypersonic technologies, including novel air-breathing propulsion architectures, innovative thermal management systems and advanced vehicle concepts. In addition, a full-scale experimental engine test campaign has now commenced. Hypersonic Air Vehicle Experimental's immediate objective is to rapidly mature technologies. 
which can deliver a step change reduction in the cost of developing a reusable HiMac hypersonic air vehicle. Reaction Engine's novel precooler and Sabre combined cycle engine technologies are key foundations for the program. In combination with Rolls-Royce's world-beating gas turbine technology, this brings a formidable capability to take on the challenging problems inherent with hypersonic flight. Additionally, the program is undertaking design work on experimental hypersonic vehicle concepts. At the Farnborough International Air Show a single-engine hypersonic concept vehicle Concept V has been unveiled. This example vehicle is one of a number of concept designs in active development by the program. It is expected that the hypersonic air vehicle experimental program will be expanded to include other leading aerospace companies. To ensure that additional expertise is deployed to support the delivery of this breakthrough technology. The program also aims to ensure that the technologies developed can be utilized by other HiMac hypersonic applications. Having synergy with space access and rapid point-to-point -point transportation. This activity presents a unique opportunity to experiment with pioneering UK technology. To inform the art of the possible and challenge traditional views on the cost and time associated with development and fielding of HiMac platforms. This partnership benefits from a series of aligned initiatives, integrating world-class skills and technologies on a series of near-term experimentations to inform our future capability planning. The consortium, which includes Aero Engine Group Rolls-Royce, the Royal Air Force and the Defence Research Agency DSTL, hopes to fly a demonstrator vehicle as early as the middle of this decade. Key to the system will be Reaction Engine's innovative pre-cooler heat exchanger, originally developed by the company for a space plane. At hypersonic speeds, the temperature generated inside a conventional gas turbine would start to melt components unless they were cooled in some way. The collaboration picks up on thermal management capability, said Robert Bond, head of future projects at Reaction Engines. The company's heat exchanger can reduce the temperature of compressed air rushing into an engine from 1000 C to room temperature in a twentieth of a second. This technology will be integrated into a Rolls-Royce gas turbine engine. The company is also testing its pre-cooling technology on the other side of the Atlantic through a program supported by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. The company has the backing of a mix of long-term strategic and financial investors, including Bay Systems. Rolls-Royce and Boeing, as well as asset management firm Bailey Gifford.